We live in a practical world. We set goals and then go out and achieve them. Why should scientists like me be any different? Why shouldn't we too be motivated by the end results? Let's imagine a world in which all scientists put aside their curiosity and concentrated on practical goals. In short, a world without basic research. Take the internet. When physicist Tim Berners-Lee came up with the World Wide Web, he was actually looking for a tool to help scientists search for matter in the universe. So, in a world without basic research, there would have been no internet or GPS. When they invented the atomic clocks used today in GPS, no one was thinking of how to get around town. They were trying to understand the properties of the atom. And without Einstein's theory of relativity, those precise calculations needed to pinpoint your position would be off. Without basic research, forget about GPS. And while we're at it, forget about popcorn as well. The microwave oven that pops your corn in minutes was invented by Percy Spencer when a chocolate bar in his pocket melted during experiments in radar technology. Inventions like the microwave only happen when there's room in the lab for people to follow their curiosity. No curiosity, no microwave popcorn. The curiosity principle goes for your cell phone, too. Without basic research, we would have no antibiotics, no CT or MRI scans. There would be no pacemakers or stents, no equipment for artificial respiration or resuscitation. Without basic research, some of us wouldn't be here today. Is this really the world we want to live in? At the Weizmann Institute of Science, we allow ourselves to follow our curiosity. But on our way to understanding the world, we sometimes find and invent things that improve the world.